Hey, welcome to the Veggie Rose channel where the food is vegan, but your taste buds won't know the difference. I'm Rose, and if this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to click on that subscribe button. It looks like this, and the little notification bell next to it so that you will be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday and Wednesday. So today we're gonna be making some delicious mashed potato cakes, and you can use leftover mashed potatoes, even though I can't do that here because we usually don't have any mashed potatoes left over. This recipe works best if you use like actual potatoes instead of like the instant mashed potato stuff. So we have one cup of mashed potatoes. We're gonna add in one tablespoon of flour. We're also adding in our seasoning. We have garlic powder, onion powder, and nutritional yeast. The full recipe will be linked down below. I'm also adding in some non-dairy cheddar cheese because we want to make these cheesy. We have some fresh basil, some fresh parsley, and some chopped green onions. And we're also adding in some uh, chopped red bell pepper. And I'm gonna do some salt and pepper. And we're gonna do salt and pepper to taste. However much pepper and salt you like, you just add that much. And we're gonna mix this up. And this recipe is gonna give you four mashed potato cakes. Now that this is all mixed up, I'm gonna take a fourth of our mixture and form it into a potato cake. And then we're just gonna place it onto our skillet. There's about two tablespoons of oil in my pan here and it is on high. And we're gonna let these cook for about three minutes per side until they get nice and golden brown and very like crispy on each side. So our potato cakes have cooked very nice and brown on both sides. So I'm just plating them onto this cute little tangy plate, but it really doesn't matter what plate you have it on because you're gonna wanna tear into it no matter what it's in. And I'm just gonna place this for the, to the side and I'm gonna show you quickly how to make the sauce because I know you're thinking, uh, it said with sauce, where's the sauce? Let's do that now. This sauce is like a chimichurri style sauce. So the first thing we're gonna add into our blender is some chopped green onions. You could also use shallots. I have uh, three green onions in there. I have a small pinch of uh, parsley and then a half a cup of uh, cilantro. And then in for our spices, we have some oregano, dried oregano. We have some uh, red chili pepper flakes and one garlic clove minced. I'm also gonna add a pinch of salt and pepper, a little squeeze of lemon, and we're also adding a drizzle of olive oil. We're gonna do about a tablespoon of olive oil. And we're gonna blend this up. We're actually gonna pulse it because we still want it to have like a little bit of texture left in it. So back to plating this guy here, we're gonna add our sauce right over top. You just want it to have just, I don't know, whatever amount of sauce you prefer on yours. I like to be generous with sauce, so I'm gonna do a nice generous amount. I'm gonna do a dollop of non-dairy cream cheese. And then we're gonna just garnish it with some uh, chopped green onions. So you know what time it is, it's time for the taste test can. So we're going in, having a nice big old bite. Oh my goodness, you guys. It smells so good, I wish you guys could smell it. Mmm. Whoa. Wow. These are bursting with flavor. Bursting with flavor. Mmm. And then the little sauce really, really, really brings it over the top with a little bit of uh, sour cream or cream cheese or whatever it is. <laughs> so good. Mm. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram using the hashtag Team Veggie Rolls. If you make this or any of my other recipes, I would love to see what you made and I would love to know what you think about it. And yes, I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.